So in the name of science, I'm going to give this sourdough starter a try. And um, I also want yummy sourdough bread. But I've got all my supplies here, flour, water, water that's been dechlorinated. So this is San Diego tap water. And you just let it sit out for at least eight hours. Um, doesn't matter if it's cold or room temperature. Uh, start with two tablespoons of flour. One, two. And two tablespoons of water using a glass jar. just stays cleaner that way. And mix it all up with a fork, or whatever implement you happen to find most useful for this. And getting the clumps out, just making it nice and smooth. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Cover it with a cloth or a paper napkin, paper towel, um, cover it and set it with a rubber band over the lid and let it sit. Continuing with the experiment here, we're on day three and um, at this point we're, or I am just feeding, feeding this, um, taking out half and putting that aside. Adding four teaspoons of flour. Two, three, four, and a tablespoon of dechlorinated water. There we go. Mixing it all up. One thing I did forget to do was uh, sniff it. I guess I'm just going to have to hold off on that. I think at this point if I smell it, it will just smell like fresh flour. So, there we go. Nice and gooey and sticky again. And I'm um, just going to let that sit again for 24 hours. And the instructions say to do this for 14 days. And the sourdough experiment continues here, day 15. So here I have my sourdough, nice and bubbly. And I am going to stir that. And then take two tablespoons and transfer them to a new clean jar. So one tablespoon. A little gloopy. So I'm being a little generous because it doesn't all want to come out. It's not super precision here. And that pretty much is all of it. So got all of that in there. Let's say that's good. And maybe give it a little bit. Okay. Let's say that that's two tablespoons. Then taking three tablespoons of flour, and I am using the correct measurements this time. One, two, three, and two tablespoons of water. One, two, like that. Then stir it all together. And this is going to be a little thicker than usual. Definitely is definitely thicker. So see that nice and almost doughy. Okay, definitely has a nice sour smell. And then I am going to mark this with a rubber band. Kind of want to figure out the height of my, of 
my starter, say right about, right about there. And I want to say thank you to Jennifer for this recommendation with the rubber band. Makes it nice and easy. And now I just wait and see how far it rises. So checking back on it every couple of hours.